Hi guys, welcome to today's video. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you all how to make this triple fishtail rubber band bracelet design. So let's get started. And you may be like, didn't she already make a triple fishtail video on her channel? And by the way, the answer to that is yes, I did. But the thing is, it um, it's just that that video was one of my older videos that I made on my channel. So, um, and at that time, it was like so long ago. I didn't even have a rainbow loom at that time. I had my old loom and I hadn't bought the rainbow loom yet. So um, I had my old loom at that time. And, and since it was like one of my older videos, also the quality of the video wasn't, it was good, but it wasn't as good. So, and also I had my old phone at that time. So my old loom, my old phone. And also I, did, I didn't have um, like, um, a filming stand like how I do now. So I had to actually hold the phone and um, do it. So, but now I have a filming stand so I can make a, make better videos because I have a filming stand. At that time, I actually had to hold the phone and it wasn't too good. And in this video, I will go a little bit slower because I know in my old video um, for this bracelet, I did go a little bit faster. And so it may have been harder to follow along so in this video, I will be going a little bit slower so it's easier for you guys to follow along. But yeah, so that was a lot of talking, but let's get started with this bracelet. By the way, this bracelet is a really cool design. I love the color combo for this one as well. It's a really cool design. So um, if you weren't able to make it with my old tutorial for this bracelet, then you will be able to make it with this tutorial and it will be a little bit easier, okay? So let's get started now. I'm using a metal tip hook and as well as a rainbow loom. And also, by the way, this bracelet is kind of clip consuming because you will need three um, clips, whatever, S clips or C clips. You will need three clips. And um, if you don't have three clips or you just don't want to use that many clips, you can adjust this bracelet to make it have one clip instead of three, but it just won't be a very even look on your bracelet. It'll kind of look a little bit messed up at the end, so you won't get a very even look. But if you use three clips, then you will get more of an even look on your bracelet. By the way, I do have a tutorial on my channel for a triple single bracelet where it's basically, there's three like things, but then instead of fishtails, they are single chains. So I do have a tutorial for that on my channel, but this one's just a triple fishtail. So yeah, okay. So I know I did a lot of talking um, right now. I'm sorry about that, but um, yeah, I did do a lot of talking. So make sure you give this video a big thumbs up if I went a little bit slower and this video helped you more than the other one, or this video just helped you in general. Anyways, so now we can get started with like the actual bracelet. Sorry, I did a lot of talking and I didn't mean to do that, but I'm sorry, <laughs> I did a lot of talking. So. Um, okay, so here's what the first thing that you guys are going to be doing. Okay. So I'm going to turn my loom around so that my loom's arrows are pointing downwards. So make sure your loom's arrows are pointing downwards. And now where did my white bands go? I had some white bands here. Oh, there they are. Okay, so. Now I zoomed in a little bit so it could help you guys a little bit more, but yeah. Um, the last time I filmed this, I didn't have a rainbow loom, so. Um, it may have looked uh, different, but you're basically going to make three fishtails like that. So one, two, three. There we go. <clears throat> so now, so the fishtails are the color that you want for the fishtails right here. And now you're going to take the color that you want for the nice little frilly over here. So in this one, the frilly is the white right here. So take the color you want for the frilly and then you're going to place it across. Oh my gosh, I, that just flipped. Um, oh my gosh, that, that white band just flipped across my loom. But anyways, you're gonna take the frilly band and stretch it across these three pins like that. <clears throat> okay, so there we go. Now, 
Now, you're going to take the next color that you want for your fishtails. So, in this pattern, it was white, green jelly, pink jelly, white, green jelly, pink jelly, and so on and so on. But um, in this one, I'm going to actually do rainbow color. So I'm gonna do red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. So, so after white, I'm gonna do three reds. So one, two, and three, like that. So like I said, I'm gonna go a lot slower or a little bit slower in this um, video. So I'm going to be waiting a little bit so you guys can do it because I don't want to go as fast as I did in the other video. Okay, then add on another vertical band. And now you're going to take your next color of band and then go vertically, vertically, and vertically. And I know in this video I did kind of a long introduction. I didn't mean to do that. I just had a lot to say about this one. So sorry about that. But that was kind of off topic. But hmm, I thought you guys just needed to hear that one. Okay. And now you're going to take three yellows. And these three yellows were the, actually the last yellows that I even had. So, oh my gosh, I'm so lucky that I had three yellows. If I only had one or two yellows then I would have to skip the yellow color. But I'm so lucky I had three yellows. Anyways, enough about my yellow color. So what I'm gonna do is I'm, um, okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start the, um, the hooking process. Oh, actually, you might have to take off a layer. Yeah, you have to take off one layer, actually. And then now you can hook the bottom band over. So, But before you do that, you actually have to go here and hook this long vertical band and hook the bottom one and pull it over the pin and release like that. And now take this bottom band, pull it over and release. The bottom band, pull it over and release. Bottom band, pull it over and release. And then this one. Bottom one goes over the pin. Bottom one goes over the pin. Bottom goes over the pin and release. Okay. Now, uh, but like I said before, you're going to take the color you want for the frilly that attaches the three fishtails. So that's going to be the frilly. This frilly kind of thing, like I said, just attaches the three fishtails together. So you won't really see um, that color too much. You won't really see the frilly too much, but so it doesn't really matter, but I like to just do white. Okay, and now you're always going to, okay, so whenever you do the hooking process, you're always going to hook this, this, this side first, like the frilly one that attaches these three fishtails. So you're always going to hook over the frilly first. And if we didn't have the frilly thing that connects each fishtail, then these three fishtails would just be their own individual fishtail that's that's not connected. So there would just be one fishtail bracelet and then another fishtail bracelet and then another fishtail bracelet. So this thing that connects it, this side one, the frilly, connects all three of it, all three of these fishtails together. Okay, so you probably get the point by now. I know I explained that a lot, but I want to make sure you all understand what that does. So you're not just like, I don't get it. Why do I need to add it? So now I'm just explaining why. And then here, I'm not going to explain too much. You just hook the bottom layer over like that. So I'm going to wait for a few seconds. And, and if you're still not done, then you can pause the video. But I'm going to wait for a few seconds so you guys can hook your bottom layer over. Okay, so I hope you hook your bottom layer over, and if you haven't, pause the video, so then you can continue with me. Okay, so lay the connecting band or the frilly band. I'm gonna call it frilly band if that's okay with you guys. I think that's just easier than connecting band. So I'm just gonna call it the frilly, okay? So, yellow, and then green. So I'm gonna do three greens. So I'm gonna take one, two, and three, like that. And then I'm going to pull the bottom band over the pin. So let me get that. Okay, bottom layer goes over the pin. And I'm going to pull this bottom layer right here. 
And as you can see, the process is so easy and so it's actually kind of fun. I don't know why, but um, when I was making this bracelet, it just it was just so much fun to make. I don't know why, but yeah. Oh, okay, my phone is at low battery. It just told me. Anyways, so you're going to lay the long frilly band that connects these three pins and it goes across three, these three pins. Sorry, I'm getting tongue tied. Okay. Okay, so now I'm going to take blue. Let me get three blues. Sorry, I jumbled up my words there. Anyways, blue goes here. And then now we're going to go to the long frilly band and pull the bottom layer over. So take the bottom layer right here and pull it over the pin and release. And now you can just hook the bottom layers over the pin. And this part's pretty easy, so yeah. Okay, so we did that. I'm gonna show you the process two more times and then I'm gonna go off camera to um, do, then I'm going to go off camera to do it. Okay. I'm going to lay the long vertical band that goes like that. And then I'm going to do, where did my purple go? Okay. So I'm going to do three purple colors. And if you're not doing the same combo color as me, then you can, um, then you can do your own colors. And then go here to the long frilly band, pull that bottom layer over, so this bottom layer right here, and release. And now you can hook the, the bottom layer of the fishtails. Oh, and I haven't really explained this too much, but basically on the last one, when, when you go here, you have to circle around it and then hook the bottom layer over. I haven't explained that one a lot. I just thought you guys would know it. But for people who don't know it, then um, then you just circle around this one and hook it instead. Because um, you want to make sure that they're all connecting inside of this frilly band. The frilly band, yeah. So, okay, last time I'm going to show you. So I'm going to explain this one really in depth and then, uh, yeah. Okay, so when once you're finished with like a process or something, so... Yeah, whenever you're finished with the process, you're going to lay the long frilly band like that. And then you're going to take three of whatever band color you want and then lay one and then the one below that one, two and three. And now remember, you don't hook these fishtails first. You go to the side, hook this long vertical frilly band over the pin and release. And now you can hook the bottom layers of the fishtail over. And then remember, circle around this one and hook the bottom layer over. Okay, so there we go. And now, if you have a full base plate, then you can just tug your bracelet to the side and, I'll be, and I will show you guys how to do that so you can just tug your bracelet to the side. So what you do is you want to take this, like that, and you wanna do this when the bracelet is shorter so um, it kinda of can lead it through the rest of it as it goes. So I don't know if that made sense, but yeah. And when you're hooking the fishtails, it is a triple fishtail, but it's like a two-sided thing. So you're actually hooking six pins, but it's gonna show up as three fishtails. So yeah, anyways, so take this, oh my gosh. And you can also use your hook to help you, but anyways. Okay guys, so once you do that, you should have a teensy bit growing through your loom. Um, we don't have that much because we haven't done a ton yet. We haven't really done a ton of the bracelet yet, but we've done a little bit. So keep continuing this bracelet until it fits your wrist size. And then once it fits your wrist size, so once it fits your wrist, then I will show you guys 
how to finish off the bracelet. But keep doing this bracelet until it fits your wrist. Okay guys, so I'm going to show you guys how to finish off your bracelet um, so you can just close it off. Okay, so let's get started with that. So you should have two layers on each pin, two layers here, two layers here, and two layers, two layers, two layers. Okay, so remember we always hook the side band first. So you're going to take this side band right here and hook that one over. So now this, okay, so just hook that over. Sorry, my um like filming thing just froze. I don't know why, but anyways. So now we hook that side band over. So now all we have is one, 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 one. Now you're just going to fold over the band Take, and you can use your hook to do this, or you can do it with your fingers. It doesn't really matter what you use, but now we've just folded over everything. So now I'm going to take three S clips, but you guys can also use C clips if you have it. It doesn't really matter what clip you use. Anyways. Okay, so then you're going to attach the clip to each, like, band. So stretch this out and attach it and do the same thing. Okay guys, so this part just for some reason got muted when I was recording it and I don't know why. But right now I'm just hop taking everything off and um, so I'm just popping it off of my loom and everything's already clipped. So now I'm going to attach my ends together. And um, like I said, the recording got muted so i don't know why but yeah anyways so i'm just attaching it like that and okay so this did take me some time when i to do it but um yeah and in my last one There we go. So, thank you all so much for watching how to make this triple fishtail rubber band bracelet. I really like the look of it and I love the design. So, I will see you all in my next video. So, bye!